Can I treat dark under eye circles with lasers? Dark under eye circles are a very common concern and can be a frustrating issue for people who want to do something about them. Patients who come to see me about under eye dark circles complain that they look tired or worn down and even when they feel vibrant and energetic. Dark circles can be caused by superficial skin discoloration, ethnic pigmentation, thin eyelid skin revealing the underlying anatomy such as the orbicularis oculi muscle and blood vessels, iron deposits from blood pooling under the eyes, and even post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or PIH. From previous laser treatments as well as other treatments, all can have contributions to dark circles. I'll discuss how I help people who come to my practice with dark under eye circles, with lasers and other therapies. I'm Dr. Amiya Prasad. I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. I specialize in all types of eyelid surgery for both primary and revision surgery. I also perform non-surgical procedures for the eyes, including injectable filler placement, laser and radiofrequency treatments, microneedling, and platelet-rich plasma treatments. There are different causes of dark circles under the eyes, and more than one type of laser can help in improving the skin. When used carefully, lasers like fractional CO2, NDYAG, and erbium lasers can stimulate collagen production to improve the skin's thickness and make the skin healthier. By improving the relative thickness of the thin eyelid skin, which is the thinnest skin of the body at half a millimeter, there can be some improvement in the coverage of the underlying anatomy, which contributes to the appearance of dark under eye circles. Depending on the type of laser and the energy delivery settings, lasers can partially ablate the skin or remove some of the top layer of skin to allow a new fresh layer of skin to come in, also known as skin resurfacing. Ablation can also be very helpful for the top layer of skin or epidermis is discolored and is contributing to the perception of dark circles. Your skin's natural pigment is more concentrated in the junction between the epidermis and dermis as well as the dermis itself, which is the deeper skin layer. Proper judgment in the use of a laser device is very important since overly aggressive treatment can have a negative effect and make the eyelid skin thinner and worsen the problem. Thinner eyelid skin from overly aggressive laser treatment makes the eyelid skin crepey and creates more wrinkles. The right amount of heat from a laser or radiofrequency device can tighten the dermis and stimulate collagen production, which then improves the appearance of wrinkles. I've developed treatment strategies to minimize the risk of laser overexposure. Since the goal is to maximally stimulate collagen production, I use non-laser technology to complement the laser-induced stimulation of the skin. For example, I routinely combine laser treatment for the lower eyelids with platelet-rich plasma, or PRP. PRP is derived from your own blood. It's a concentration of the wound healing and growth factors needed for tissue repair, such as when you have a cut. PRP is prepared by drawing your blood as is done for a routine blood test and spinning the blood in a centrifuge to concentrate the platelets to create a clear yellow serum. PRP stimulates collagen production and improves blood supply and circulation to make the eyelid skin healthier and thicker without using heat energy. I find that PRP and laser treatment work very well together in the eye area. Dark under eye circles are often associated with relative hollowing in areas such as the tear trough and the cheek, which creates shadows and contributes to the tired looking appearance. This is more of a volume issue, so I routinely place hyaluronic acid fillers using minimally invasive, minimally traumatic techniques such as the use of blunt cannulas. I find that frequently 
volume correction has the most significant impact on the appearance of dark circles. On a related note, I've seen a good number of patients who came in concerned about dark under eye circles without recognizing that they had puffy under eye bags. Puffy under eye bags make the discoloration aspect of dark circles more prominent and makes the shadow of relative hollowing under the eye bags appear even darker. The optimal strategy is therefore to address the under eye bags directly. I address under eye bags every day in my practice with fillers as well as minimally invasive surgery called transconjunctival blepharoplasty, which is done from the inside of the lower eyelids without any incisions or sutures on the outside. This is a procedure I perform in my office facility with local anesthesia and light IV sedation with minimal swelling and bruising, so our patients are able to return to work typically in one week looking more refreshed. Lasers are great tools to help address under eye dark circles. It's critical to have a proper assessment in order to determine what the anatomic variables are which contribute to the appearance of your dark circles. I look at this area from the inside outward, so I look for hollowing, puffy under eye bags, vascular and muscle elements, melanin or ethnic skin pigmentation, and epidermal or superficial factors which contribute to this appearance. As an experienced oculofacial plastic surgeon, I'm able to help my patients with everything from lasers, injectable fillers, PRP, and surgery for under eye bags. In the modern aesthetic marketplace, practitioners have biases to sell procedures they can do and ignore procedures they can't do, essentially not looking after the patient's best interest. I can attest to this as patients often find themselves dissatisfied with treatment done elsewhere and come to me for evaluation. It's important if you are looking for a solution for dark under eye circles that you be educated before your consultation and the doctor you have a consultation with spend time with you and provide you with a satisfactory explanation for the therapeutic strategy they recommend for you. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for your question.